Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, finally, I'm back with a pretty After Effects intro graphics tutorial in my channel VFX World. And that will be a lot of fun. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. So after a long time after effects tutorial again and let's get started. So first of all, let's create a composition from here. I'm taking like a light intro and just leave it like a 1920 by 1080 which is full HD and the frame ratio is like 29.97 I make it a 30 and press OK. OK, so now what you have to do, you have to, I have to take a BG for this so let's create a right click new solid and bg and just press ok now make it more dramatic so i'm taking it from a ramp and just drag and drop from a linear ramp to ready ramp swap these colors change it from here and drag it to below and make these colors a little more darker so like this and now it's become a cool BG okay so first thing first is done right now the text part so from here take text tool click here and type V F and X so the guys I'm taking a new font which is called moon house so I'm typing it's like a moon house so it's came here so it's very cool futuristic kind of font uh, if you want you can download from this font um, I don't have that link but uh, you can search it like moon house from da font so just you can download it and from here I'm just center it okay so now what happened I have to create a mask from this three words so just select and from here layer and create and from here two options over there create a shape from text create a mask from text now guys one thing I want to tell you if you create shapes from text the output will be a different kind of thing you can use so many things by using that shapes but I want that mask okay so I'm taking this create mask from the text so just create this and now you can see you you will find this options which is called 3VFX which is separate separate mask right now and which we have like when you turn this on you can see the all masks are right now visible okay so guys I want to clarify something if you select this and from here layer to auto trace option what happened that your system may be a little bit more slower because auto trace are making so many points of you can say vertex by using that option but in VFX art outline which is created from this uh, text from the mask uh, that will not create so many uh, vertexes so it will become really uh, uh, what you can say very lightweight to uh, handle okay so now why we have to make some animations okay so what you have to do press M here to sh see all this mask and right click create a new null object and now I want to take this null object to this okay so now the leave the null object side I want to create some stroke effects okay so that's select this go to this uh, effect controls and from here you can type stroke effect go down it, it will come from generate option just select drag and drop to this VFX option from here I'm just taking to this all mask because I want all three masks are working in the same time okay so from here I'm taking from here the original image to the transparent image now you can see only the outline is right now visible okay the outline is little more uh, you can say the thin so I make it a little more thicker so from here two I'm just changing like four so right now it's it's cool right it's four is fine you can increase it your own way okay so now go to the first frame and my timeline is become like uh, seven seconds it's seven seconds is fine press n on your keyboard and right click trim to comp area so it will become trim okay so entire animation is right now seven seconds now go to the first frame click this end keyframe and make it zero go to the last frame and make it 100 so if you decrease this and let's turn this off so you can see right now this is not visible and when you play this you can see this cool animation is right now happening but I want this entire animation will happen in a separate separate uh, words in separate separate times so just simply just turn off the stroke secondly option so now what happened when you play this you can see all threes are working in a same time and their same own animations 
Now I want this animation will become a more precise, the more interactive. So that's why I was created that null object. Okay guys, the uh, thing I want to clarify in this tutorial, I will not uh, show you the entire output because that will take so much time, but I, I, I can show you the process that how you can do that so that you guys can make this good. Okay. So now what I'll do, I'll just go to the first frame and just go create this null object turn this on let's make this turn object color like sand so you can see this in a good way now i want this null object will be continue from this animation like in the null object will uh what you can say like follow this um position option just make it from full results then you can understand it more good see now the null object is here Okay, so when you press M on your keyboard, the V option is right now visible and the mask path is all as well. Just select this mask path, go to the first frame and just press Ctrl C and go to this null object by pressing P, this position came and just select this and simply Ctrl V. So now what happened, you can see the keyframe is coming right now. So when you play this, you can see the null object is moving but it's not following that V exactly. So what you have to do, you just have to select this keyframe and just drag it to the end. So now what happened when you play this, it will follow that entire word, which is really good. Okay. So this same thing, I, I will do that in uh, others two objects, uh, which I, which you already shown in that uh, uh, final output. So I'm not doing it again. I'm just showing the, the same way duplicate it and just uh, you have to do this for the F and the X. Okay, so now I have to make some cool lights effects which will follow this V. Okay, so just turn this off. Now right click new and from here you can create an adjustment layer or you can create a solid layer. I suggest you can create an adjustment layer so it will not become you don't have to multiplication anything. So just make a adjustment layer and rename it like a light and just go to the from here you can check like a lens flare and uh, from here you can find like a lens flare and just drag and draw now you can find one lens flare effect will pop up and i'm taking like a um, 35 mm or you can use it like 105 now 105 mm is actually is like pretty good but you can use it your own way now decrease this brightness like uh, like this so it will become a hit spot kind of thing so let's make it 30 like a round figure and now i want this light will follow this null object so for that we have to make a cool expression okay so what you have to do simple by pressing alt on your keyboard and just click this flare center option stopwatch so when you click this you can see one thing will pop up and this one as well so now select this one and just drag it down to this null object position okay so when you release this, you can see right now it's actually following this like that. Okay. So I'm just decreasing this resolution so you can see it properly. Now see this light is right now actually following this, right? Cool, right? So let's make this little more down like 20 is fine. Okay. So this is actually the expression called. So it will follow this entire F, uh, sorry, the V object. Okay. Now go to the up and just make it inside. Now go a little more this. Okay. Now the final animation is done. Let's turn this off. It will become very bad. Now see it feel like this thing is following. Let's make it color correct. Right click new adjustment layer. Let's make it like curves and drag and drop. I want to make it like a bluish kind of thing because I really love blue. So those who guys didn't know, a blue is my like a soft corner you can say. So make it like a kind of this kind of color. I really love this color. Actually this is it's a really pure kind of thing. Some good thing happened when I saw this colors. Okay. So you can make it under this light so that the light become white. You can change it by your own or you can use it just like a top of this. And you can use so many colors as you wish. Now go to this outline effect. You can from here white to make it blue so that the output will become more good like this. I suggest make it this kind of colors 
so it feel like it's really futuristic kind of thing okay so now let's make it the bg little more good so right click new make it like uh, what you can say like solid and just press ok and go to down and let's frame form here like a grid just like this generate grid and press drag and drop so now what happened one grid effect will pop up and i'll make it like uh, from corner pin like with slider and what you can say then i see this is become like very small i'm making it more smaller like this and the colors let's change it to like little darker blue kind of thing so it will see it's feel like really good you can from here change it the multiplications from here like this so when you change it like this it's feel really awesome right now you can move it top of this light so that the light will come like this so it's feel like you can say see like it's a kind of a digital kind of thing or you can just drag it down so that light is coming the top and now you can do so many things over there i'll just show you if you use one cc volume raise cc uh sorry you can say cc uh radial fast blur and just drag it to the what you can say the null object like sorry vfx outliner option now what happened you just see this is feel like it's coming pop up so i'm just going drag it down so now see it's feel like it's going blast of this some kind of thing just turn this off and when you increase this amount you can see it's become really good see and make it like from here the brightness part and see it's awesome right and it's coming exactly it's feel like it's coming from that grid and is bursted from there you can do so many things guys if you just just changing your layer position you can do you can do just so many things i am just doing it uh, i just did it that randomly so that the output came that kind of thing just delete this uh, otherwise you guys can understand just delete this so uh, by this way you can create this kind of cool animations which will uh, make your output more good more uh, what you can say more fine fine tune your outputs and you can use glows and over there so when exactly the entire thing will done i did lots of things like i'm just experimental thing like adding glow make it uh, like multiplication make it like more transparent so that that different different output will came okay so the basic outputs it's exactly like this which my basic motto is to show you how the light will follow that uh, what you can say the text effect and now up to you how you can create your own by using your own creativity the final the creative the more interactive output okay guys okay guys the final output is right now in front of you and i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if yes then don't forget to subscribe my channel like comments and share on your own friend circle friends go facebook instagram twitter anywhere and i'll see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy bye bye